guys and welcome back to Caribbean Toots. In this series, we're looking at the chemistry syllabus. Today, we're looking at section A 2.1 in your syllabus outline, and that is mixtures and separations. So what we're going to do today, we're going to look at the different types of pure substances, the different types of mixtures, and then we look at the composition properties and component parts of the pure substances and the mixtures. So the two types of pure substances that we have are elements and compounds. The two types of mixtures that we have are homogenous or homogeneous and heterogeneous. So throughout this video, we'll look at the definition of each of these words. We're looking at composition properties and component parts. So the composition of a pure substance is fixed. It doesn't change. Why? Because a pure substance is made up of the same kind of element or the same kind of compound. So we say the composition of it is fixed or constant. Now the properties of the pure substance are also fixed, they don't change because the, um, the elements or the same compound is making up these pure substances. So because they're the same type in the substance, their properties are not going to change. It's going to be consistent or constant. So we say that the properties of pure substances are also fixed, consistent, constant. Okay, now the component parts, which simply means what makes up this pure substance, for example water, you can't separate these component parts by using physical means. You can't filter water from water. You can't separate hydrogen or oxygen by using any of the physical separation methods. In the next videos, um, you'll see the different kinds of separation methods. But you can't separate the component parts of the pure substance using any physical method. So can we via physical methods? So we said that the two types, the two types of pure substance that we have are elements and compounds. Now there are two words that we want to define on the term elements. So an element is the purest kind of substance that there is. It's the simplest form. You can't break down an element into anything simpler than an element. So we say an element is the simplest form of a substance. Atoms make up elements. They're the smallest parts of the element and they make up the elements. For example, let's say we have lithium, which is an element, and it is made up of lithium atoms. A molecule is made up of two or more um, atoms of the same element. So for example, we have chlorine, which exists as a diatomic molecule, we have the two here because there are two chlorines. So they exist like this, bonded to each other. Right? So in the syllabus, we'll look at bonding. But that's why chlorine exists. We call it a diatomic molecule. Di meaning two, atomic means two atoms. So because chlorine has more than one atom um, naturally occurring, we say that the molecule, we say that this is called a diatomic molecule or a molecule. Okay. So now we're going to look at compounds. What is a compound? A compound is made up of two or more substances that are chemically bonded together. So when they are chemically bonded together, the composition that they have here or the properties that they form here in this new this new relationship, this new bond, is different from the properties that they had before they were bonded together. So a compound 
is like the marriage of two elements to form a new compound or structure. So sodium reacts with chlorine to form sodium chloride. Another example that we can use is water. So in order to get some water, we have hydrogen reacting with oxygen to form water. Okay. Now we're going to look at mixtures, the composition of properties and component parts of these mixtures. So, composition of mixtures. Composition of mixtures varies. Why? Because there are different substances being physically placed or mixed together. So within a mixture, a mixture is something that um, contains different substances that are physically um, blended together or mixed together. For example, you throw some dirt in some water, that's an example of a mixture. You throw some salt in some water, or some sugar in some water, that's an example of a mixture. So we say that the composition of mixtures vary. It's always vary. The properties of the mixtures are also varying or they're also different. Why? Because the the, for example, you have some dirt within some water. The dirt is remaining, it's, it's keeping its properties, and the water is keeping its properties. So we say that the properties are variable. Variable. Variable properties. And the component parts of these mixtures can be separated using physical means. So if you have some sand in some water, you can use some a filter, means of a filter to separate the sand from the water. So the component parts can be separated by physical means. Okay, next. So the two types of mixtures that we have are homogeneous and heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture, homo means same. Hetero means different, so homogeneous mixture means same mix, same mix. So within this mixture, I'm going to use the sugar water example again. Within this mixture, the sugar is dissolving, it's not chemically bonding to the water, however, the particles of the sugar are getting smaller and smaller until they're so minute that you can't see them. So when you mix the sugar in the water, as long as it's mixed properly, the water is going to look consistent. Everything looks pretty much the same. You won't be able to tell the difference in a homogeneous mixture. So this is a homogeneous mixture. Everything is the same. Okay. However, in a The particles are not evenly distributed throughout the mixture. So if you throw some sand in some water, the sand is going to settle at the bottom and the water is going to settle at the top. Or be separated from the sand um, at the top. So we have a heterogeneous mixture. Let's say you threw some sand in this. So this is the sand at the bottom. And this is the water at the top. So in this mixture, you can evidently see the difference between the two components of the mixture, which is the water and the sand. In a homogeneous mixture, you were unable to differentiate the two components of the mixture because it's evenly distributed throughout. So we say it's homogeneous. Okay, so that's in this video. We're going to recap really quickly. Matter can be pure or mixture. Types of pure include elements and compounds and types of mixtures include homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Pure substances have a fixed or constant composition, fixed or constant properties, and the component parts cannot be separated 
um, by any physical means or se physical separation method. Um, elements are either atoms or molecules, they can exist either as atoms or molecules. So an example of an atom is lithium, an example of a molecule is chlorine because it's made up of more than one atom, so we say it's diatomic um, molecule. A compound is the reaction, the chemical reaction, or the chemical bonding between two types of elements, or an element and another compound. So we say sodium and chlorine reacted to get some sodium chloride. And mixtures have varying composition, varying properties, and their component parts are, fit, are um, able to be separated by physical means. The two types of mixtures that we spoke about are homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures are evenly distributed throughout the mixture of the liquid, so it's unable to identify the different components of it. So we, for example, the salt and the water. And a heterogeneous mixture is easily identified. Components are easily identified because they're not evenly distributed throughout the mixture. So this in